In this video, we're going to test two important attributes that make a camera cinematic, rolling shutter and the ability to stabilize footage. First, let's start with rolling shutter, the 12 Pro Max versus the 13 Pro Max. This test was done with both phones directly on top of each other, and so the level of movement between the comparisons is comparable. Here we can see a comparable performance. The Wine X lenses are more interesting to look at as this year the sensor size has changed from 1.7 last year to 1.9 this year. Typically, larger sensors are slower to read, although we can see quite good performance in the Wine X. The zoom lenses have much smaller sensors, and we can see this fast readout speed with minimal rolling shutter here. The front cameras are rarely measured, however rolling shutter is critical in these cameras as typically people do whip pans and walking shots in the course of their use. We can see the rolling shutter performance has been marginally improved between the 12 and the 13 Pro, likely due to a more capable processor. And this increased processor typically has greatest effect at 60 fps as it is more intensive and we can see comparable performance at the extreme wide. Pleased to be able to report that the 13 Pro's 1X camera is about as good as last year's even though the sensor size has increased. And again we can see good performance at the long end. If there is a particular frame rate that you're interested in, go back and pause to see how skewed the lines are. Let's have a look at the front facing camera and we can see that it's about the same as last year. Now moving on to stabilization tests. These were done walking with both phones on top of each other and so the footage is comparably taken between them. The amount of shake each phone experienced was identical. At the wide end, we can see a good performance from both phones. However, due to the focal length, it is unlikely to notice a lot of motion simply because the part of the frame this year's normal camera uses both optical and sensor shift stabilization, and so we should see a big improvement over last year's only sensor shift stabilization. It is very slightly better, however, both perform very well at this focal length. There's very little jitter in the corner of the frame. Now looking at the most difficult stabilization length, the tele end, and we can see that the 13 is marginally improved on the 12. Now let's look at the stabilization on the front cameras at 30 FPS. The 13 is somewhat improved over the 12. Look at the jitters in the corner of the railing. Now let's look at 60 fps which is a lot more processor intensive we can see the 13 pro is improved here the 13 pro at 60 fps provides a much more pleasing image especially when zoomed in let's have a look The front cameras at 60 fps look almost identical. And that's it for the rolling shutter and stabilization comparison between the iPhone 12 Pro Max and 13 Pro Max. If you particularly use this frame rate a lot, go back and have a look at that 
part to see the limitations of the tool and how it performs. Hopefully this helps you in creating in the future.